So here's an exciting plant. Um, it's actually called wild ginger and it's another plant that is native in our uh, woods, in our maple forests in particular. And you can recognize it because it has heart-shaped leaves uh, that are a little bit fuzzy and in addition it has a very uh, interesting kind of strange looking flower. I don't know if you can see it. It's at the base of the plant. It's kind of red brown, not necessarily very attractive and, and definitely hidden. And uh, this plant is uh, another one of these very slow growing plants. So it takes it a really long time to reproduce. It doesn't really reproduce fast. Uh, it doesn't attract many pollinators as you can see, um, although it may get a little bit of help from ants. Um, and every year it just grows a tiny bit. So it takes it a few years before it can produce its first flower. And after that, it just keeps living for a really long time, as long as no one disturbs it. So it was used as a medicinal plant, um, as many of these plants were. And it has no relation to commercial ginger, uh, although the root does uh, smell and taste like it. The only problem is, of course, if you were to harvest the root, you would kill the whole plant, so it's better to stick to commercial ginger in that case. Um, and so that is a presentation of wild ginger, gingembre sauvage.